Hi everyone, my name is Amanda Humphreys. I am absolutely honored to be here. I am an emergency medicine and emergency medical services physician in Houston, Texas. Absolutely, I love that question because I think it's critically important. Um, this was something that I got to touch on in my presentation, but one of the things that I think is unique about TBI is that we as the pre-hospital providers have the definitive care. There are so many things that we take care of that we bring the patient to definitive care. Heart attack, stroke, but in this case, we actually have the definitive care because the biggest and best thing things that any level of provider can do for these patients is support their oxygen saturations, support their blood pressure, and ensure that they don't get hyperventilated. And so just like in stroke, time is brain, but in this case, we are the ones that they are waiting for. One of the things that I love about teaching TBI is that it's the basics that matter. It's not the fancy new um, intubation techniques or drugs on the market, but it's the very basic things. But with that comes challenges. Um, I think that my counterparts, Dr. Cheskies, did a wonderful job of explaining just how common it is to see hyperventilation for a lot of reasons. It's hard to do something slowly in a critical situation. And so I think that that is one of the major barriers is just slowing down and doing things well instead of doing things quickly. I think that's one of the biggest barriers um, in in conjunction with all of the other common barriers in pre-hospital care. We work in very diverse, often active environments. Um, and so being able to focus on the task at hand can be really challenging. I think it is fantastic. Um, I think that having a way to monitor and ensure that we are doing those simple things as best we can is a great tool. And I love specifically talking about Zoll's TBI dashboard. I love that it doesn't have too much information. It has the three things that matter, keeping those oxygen saturations high, keeping that blood pressure high enough, and then keeping your ventilatory rate right in that sweet spot, because we see that if we ventilate too much or too little, either direction that we go leads to increased mortality. And so the dashboard helps us keep it in the sweet spot. Um, and I think that one of the reasons that it's so helpful is that over and over, many providers will look and will think that they're doing the right thing for the patient. But being able to see this and make those adjustments um, is a game changer in my opinion. The biggest thing that I wanna drive home is it's the simple things that matter. Um, do the simple things really, really well, and that will lead to the best outcomes for our patients.